night, so it has been kind of over, really overcast and drizzling rain all day, and it's all sort of fined up, which is really good. Which means I can go out and do this. So um, I've, I really love this bike. It's a Kawasaki versus 650. Absolutely love it. Um, very comfortable riding position. Uh, so I was going to talk a bit about the bike and um, and a couple of problems, minor problems I've had. One of the minor problems is um, this seat here. It actually um, comes down to the tank. So on a long, it's very comfortable, but on a long ride, you slide forward and um, you have issues with things with things coming into your tank here, which makes for uncomfortable rides. So um, my son is going to, on his 3D printer, he's going to make up um, some packing and off, it's a specially designed thing that lifts the front of the seat up and you get more of a shape here which apparently solves all the problems. It lifts at about 12 millimeters, so that should be good. That'll fix that problem. The other problem is that when I'm riding, which you may be able to pick up when I do this video, it's very snatchy. So this is actually, they make the, um, the fuel mixture very lean to meet emissions but to my mind it's ridiculous because it actually makes it a little bit dangerous to ride because um, when, when you decelerate you get a real quick um, sudden engine braking which in some cases is good you don't have to use your brakes as much um, but it's very snatchy so very jerky or snatchy um, when you're trying to make clean gear changes it's um, a little bit tricky to get good smooth gear changes um, and also, uh, also um, it's when you're going around a tight corner or a roundabout or something like that it actually can be a bit dangerous because if you just if you're in first going slow and you just got to give it a little bit of a throttle it can actually surge like that very instantly instead of being smooth so I've ordered from the UK a thing called a booster plug and that is the purpose of this video because when that comes, today's um, Saturday, I'm getting in that Monday or Tuesday, I'll be fitting it next week sometime, it's a quick install. I can't find anybody on YouTube showing how to install it on this particular model of bike. Um, but yeah, that's uh, I'm getting a bit warmed up, so we'll head off. Nice tall bike for me, and I'm six foot two. Make sure I've got everything. Okay, so hopefully the sound isn't too distorted. Oh, look at that sunset. I didn't bring my camera with me today. Just check that out. I'll probably head straight down that way, I think. Yeah, so, um, when you're riding along, um, when you're in third, even when you're in third, um, if you can just see that, it's kind of very instantaneous. So what you call a snatchy or a jerky throttle. Um, so when you're in first gear, sort of like this, it's very jerky. So um, when you're riding along, there's absolutely no problems whatsoever. Once you're in gear that you're going to ride in, um, and you're sort of up in the revs a bit, it's pretty good. So. So it's actually good having that instant acceleration, really. Um, but yeah, when you're doing slow speeds in traffic, stopping and starting, um, yeah, it's not, it's, it's quite unsafe. You're sort of jerking, but it's mainly going, but that's okay if you're in a straight line. When you're going around corners in the wet, around a tight roundabout, you don't want this thing to be jerking up and down. So 
I digress again. So getting back to the booster plug, what it does, it comes with a thermostat and it goes up to the front of your air box where it's pulling in clean air, cool air. And um, so what it does is it tricks the ECU into thinking the ambient temperature out here is 20 degrees colder than it actually is. So um, with that happening, um, your ECU then puts more fuel into the mix. And um, so just pay attention here. are pretty dry at the moment. Oh, I would have missed that sunset. It's, um, it's pretty good. What it does is it um, tricks the um, ECU into think it's uh, 20 degrees colder, so you end up with a richer mix, and so therefore uh, you basically put the engine back to where it should have been in the first place. So it's got more fuel, so when you're decelerating, it's not so aggressively decelerating, um, and when you're in neutral, it's a richer mix. So when you open the throttle up, it's not an instantaneous. Um, response, it's a bit more how it should be, a bit more progressive, so it gives you a bit more throttle control and it makes for a smoother ride in slow conditions. And apparently it doesn't use really any more fuel once you're riding along because the ECU is taking measurements off, I believe, a sensor on the exhaust side of things, uh, which then changes uh, the settings back for that condition. So anyway, so when that comes, um, hopefully next weekend I will um, do a quick video of how to, the easiest way of putting into this bike and then I'll take it for another ride and we'll let, let you know how it goes. So for now I'm just going to head back down to have a look at this um, sunset and um, have a bit of a ride around town and I'll get back to you later. Uh, raining all day and um, well drizzling all day overcast roads are all wet but now it's kind of cleared all up beautiful um, cool breeze third day of spring here nothing better than just getting out on the bike and going for a bit of a ride smell the sea air this fantastic machine which is a Kawasaki Versus 650 great bike, great machine these Dunlop tyres on this thing are supposed to be reasonably grippy but I haven't had this bike long so I'm not too sure what kind of lean angles we can do in the wet yet. 
after all that rain and, and now the skies are clearing, it's just so beautiful and fresh. people on motorbikes and you know, oh, what do I want to do that for? So I tell you what, I, you get them. I, I didn't ride motorbikes for a lot of years. I had a small 250 when I was in my 20s. Um, really only had a trail bike since, a couple of trail bikes since then. Uh, one was a 250 and then many years later I got a 660, still had that. One of those tight roundabouts, just you've got to be a bit careful on the throttle going around because of the twitchy accelerator. One thing about this bike, it's got an awesome sounding exhaust system on it. When you get into the revs, it sounds wonderful. Um, it's a stock pipe. I've seen many reviews on YouTube about this bike before I bought it and, and after I bought it as well. And um, they all say the same thing, it's got a pretty good note. No point in trying to put an aftermarket pipe unless you're trying to gain a bit of power because the pipe sounds so good. same when you're doing a corner. Um, slow, tight manoeuvres here. It's good to be able to um, put this in a full lock, lean your body out to the right and try to do a curve using your clutch in a full lock position. Preferably without your feet touching the ground. So that's what I like to try to do here. Put that in full lock. Lean the bike in a bit, lean out to the left. Just keep your feet down. Yeah, that went well. Just keep your feet close to the ground in case you lose control of it. But 
this bike is very good. So we go full lock, we just lean out to the right and just have confidence. No. As soon as you feel like you're going to lose it, you've got to commit to it. So we'll just try that again. So we go full lock, lean the bike in, lean out to the right, keep it in full lock. Yep. I think every uh, motorcycle should um, practice their sort of braking and trying to brake as smoothly and balanced as possible. I don't know. So lean the bike in, full lock, leaning out to the right, but just let the clutch off. Yep. Put the feet off the ground. So I'll just show you this matchy throttle. So it's like, it, it's just, you, run it, you haven't got to open it much for it to really throw you. So you, you can just squeeze the throttle on, it's not so bad. Anyway, that's my tight manoeuvring done for the day. All good people, until next time over and out.